Hello, thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. Today we're talking about Hell Freezes Over. Alright, so I just want to preface this review by saying that I recently had a request from my friend Mark Greentree over on Twitter who recently did a review of Hell Freezes Over on LP on the site SubjectiveSounds.com so I invite you to go check out his review and I'll link it below. Now he's seen some Life and Surround reviews and he requested that I cover Hell Freezes Over, the DTS version. He specifically called out the DTS CD, which I don't have, and it's out of print and a bit pricey, though not terrible. But I do have the concert DVD, which also has the DTS mix, and Somebody that I trust has said that the DVD sounds a little bit better. So I'm going to stick with the DVD. Last I checked, it's available for around $10 from South Korea. So until this is out of print, it's definitely my recommendation if you want to experience Hell Freezes Over in 5.1. So as I said, Mark covered the LPs on subjective sounds. And one of the main differences between the LP and the CD version of the album, and the DTS CD or the DVD, is that they have different running orders and slightly different content. The LPs and CD start off with four new studio tracks. You could think of that as sort of a new EP to begin things. And then the remainder of the CD and LP version covers the concert minus four live tracks. The DTS CD and the DVD include those four tracks live. Now let's talk about the mix, because that's one of the strongest selling points of this DVD. This is a 5.1 Elliott Shiner mix, and per his usual, he has mixed this concert discreetly with important musical information in the surrounds, and in this case, also in the center. This was his first 5.1 mix, and he chose to mix some bass and lead vocals discreetly in the center. Now even though a lead vocal is isolated in the center channel, it does blend in with the rest of the music when all the channels are playing back in your room. Don Henley apparently just didn't like that people could go stick their ear up to the center speaker and hear his vocals isolated, warts and all, rough edges. On the dark desert highway, cool wind in my head, warm smell of colitas, rising up through the air. And I guess I can sympathize with that, but as a surround enthusiast, one thing that I like is when parts are isolated and broken out so I can hear details that I never heard before if I wish to. And it also might be worth pointing out that Stephen Wilson, the current surround sound engineering champion, has made isolating lead vocals in the center channel more or less his trademark, along with very, very discreet use of the surrounds as well. So I don't think that Elliot Shiner took a wrong approach with Hell Freezes Over, but it was definitely something that made Don Henley unhappy, and for professional reasons, he changed his approach. And his subsequent 5.1 mixes, both studio and live, are just exquisite. And they set the standard for many years, and to this day, they are really tough to contend with. So you can't go wrong with an Elliott Shiner mix, generally, especially when the artist doesn't mess with them. Now, let's break down these mixes just a little bit more. Let's start with Hotel California, which begins the concert on the DVD. You can see that we have the main vocal and bass isolated in the center. We have the bongo drums, which drive the song, up in the front left and right. The myriad of guitars up in the fronts. Harmony vocals are also spread across the fronts. And you have some shaker and some keys the audience, and some hall ambience in your surrounds. This is an extremely effective approach for this live version of Hotel California, which is a little bit of a stripped down version. It doesn't have a full drum kit. And now let's jump to the audio-only bonus track that's included on the DTS CD and the DVD. I believe it also comes on the CD and the LP, but here it's in 5.1.
And even though this DVD features standard definition 4x3 video and lossy surround, Seven Bridges Road is worth the price of admission alone. You get an eagle in every channel with somebody singing the bass part in the center channel, a tenor in the front left, a baritone in the front right, a lower baritone in the surround left, and a higher tenor in the surround right. There are stars in the southern sky Southward as you go This is absolutely bone-chilling to sit in the sweet spot and listen to. When the band comes in, it's spread across the fronts, but the song goes a cappella again toward the end. And opening this song a cappella with an eagle in every channel and closing the song that way as well is absolutely a 5.1 demo moment. So if you at all have DTS capability in your home, a DVD player, a Blu-ray player, any receiver from the last couple of decades, you owe it to yourself to find this DVD or the DTS CD, even though it's reported that the DTS CD sounds a little bit thinner, even just for Seven Bridges Road. Now, the concert is also very cool. It starts off more or less unplugged, rocks out a little bit, goes through a mellow period, and then ends on some rockin' numbers like Life in the Fast Lane. The songs are well performed. They include a symphony orchestra at points. You get a variety of different arrangements of many classic songs, but some typical arrangements of others. So this DVD has a lot going for it. I totally recommend it. You can see over on Quadraphonic Quad, I voted a 9 out of 10 for this. I only took off points for the legacy video. It's not likely that this will ever be reissued on Blu-ray because of the limitations of the video. Now, other than their 70s quads, which have never been released on an optical format like Super Audio CD or DVD or Blu-ray yet, so let's hope that the classic Eagles quads get released in optical someday. But until then, we have Hell Freezes Over, Live in Melbourne, and Hotel California on Super Audio CD, DVD Audio, and Blu-ray. And I hope to get to Hotel California sometime soon for its own review. Well, that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're into surround music, eagles, classic rock, modern rock, classical. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed. And until next time, live life in surround.